Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. And when we get through, we'll make a big wish that we we'll never have to do this Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with The Fisherman, Fishing Planet, and we are here in the Heron River, and the last time I did an episode for The Fisherman, we were focusing on smallmouth bass. Well, guys, this is a key area for fishing for largemouth. Not as big as the Everglades, but pretty darn big. Now... The areas that you can fish for these guys most often, let's check the map here. Now you can catch them just about anywhere, but the areas that I catch them the most often are here at Woody Enchantment, at Great Parking Job, and into the Rocky Blue. Now, every now and then I'll get them at Rebel of Old Times, but just not as often. Most of the time I get smallmouth there. So we're going to start off with Woody Enchantment. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon at a peak day of a cloudy day. Usually if uh, sunny days are going on, you can usually get bigger peaks, but they, sh they last a lot less time. So see how much longer it runs. It runs to about 5 p.m. Then you can quit at 5 p.m. and go catch the uh, unique red ears. So it's a good place to start for this if you're going to try to get some cash up. I would focus on these largemouth bass. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start with a bass jig here. It's uh, not the huge bass jig that I, I don't think I have any large ones, honestly. Yeah, that's the only one I've got, but we're going to give it a try here. We may have to uh, change it up here, but I want to see if I can at least get a regular size one. But they seem to focus mostly around those stick-ups. Now you can find them other places here, but if you go too far over that way like you, I did before, the smallmouth bass is going to be more prevalent. But they seem to hang in tight and close to those logs. And this isn't probably my favorite lure for these guys. I have quite a few of them. But when you're new in this, I would say I'm going to show you the ones to use the most often. And if you're going to float fish for them, I would probably use shiners. Yeah, I think, like I said, I'm not real fond of this lure. And it usually works better when it's sunny. So I'm going to grab one I know that's going to work. Any of these actually will work fairly well. But these are ones I you know, got early on. I would go with either this half ounce or this one third ounce. But the half ounce most definitely because it's a bigger lure, has a bigger hook. Stand a better chance of getting a trophy. I'm fairly new still, so I don't think I can get the bigger hook yet. But I'm going to check the sh shop here because I haven't bought any for a while. Stop and go would probably be the best one to use. There we go. And I'm pretty certain that's what we got here. Yeah, he is. It's like he just suddenly realized he was caught. There we go. That's a nice one. 346 cash. It's not bad. Now try to move it around a little bit too because you can't just fish the same spot. Fish move. Also, you got to think about the fact that he made a lot of ruckus underwater, so <laughs> he may have scared some of his buddies off. Another 
other thing is, is I don't know if you saw that, but that splash right there, that's a good indicator that you, you might want to travel over by the splash. Seems like when you get a splash like that, a lot of times they'll bite almost immediately. Now, if I had a popper, I would definitely be trying that here, but I don't have poppers just yet. I have a crankbait, and this is a, usually a good one for these guys. So we're going to give that a shot as well. Seems to be activity. I just haven't hit on the lure that they really want just yet here. I'm going to take the speed down. See if they want the crankbait instead. Alright, we're going to see if this gold spoon does any better. Sometimes in the cloudy weather they do. I don't know why. It's There are some people that say that it's better to use the gold spoons in the cloudy weather and the silver spoons in the sunny. I think that might be a myth, but sometimes it just depends on what the fish are after. You never know. Honestly, they just may be, whoa, well, he went for it, but didn't take it. Yeah, the only thing about this cloudy weather, they don't bite quite as much. There we go. Maybe it was the gold ones. Wow. This guy's big. <laughs> this guy's got some oomph to him. Let's see here. Yes, yeah, is a half ounce gold casting spoon. And it's taking everything I've got to get him in here. Just about. And he's still fighting me. All right, let's see what he is, guys. Gosh. He might be a trophy. Gee whiz. There we go. We got him. New personal record. He's not a trophy, but, man, he gave me a fight. 3.102. He gave me a fight, without a doubt. Yeah, I think I was doing a little bit of a lift and drop, and that seemed to be Lift and drop is a lot harder to get now than it used to be. It used to be all you had to do is go like this and then go down. Now it's twitching. A lot of activity over there. I'm going to maybe a little too far but we'll give that a try real quick and well that was fast This is a large amount too. It, 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 
looked more green to me than light. Nope, it's a small mouth. Yeah, that's too far over. Small mouth are definitely over on that side. Gotta stick close to the stick ups. fight hard. There you go. Good old largemouth bass. Now I'm going to head over to another part of the map here. We're going to go over to the great parking job which is right here. I know a lot of other people like to fish here too because this is a cool little spot with that submerged car. And it seems like they like to hang around right in between here where the car is. So we'll see if they're hanging out today. Seems like they're going for this particular lure today, so we'll give this one a shot. There we go. I think we got ourselves another large mouth here. Yes, sir. Nice little wall. Nice little large mouth. Now, uh, if you, you know, if you throw over here, you're probably going to be more likely of getting small mouths. So you don't want to go that far over. They tend to be closer to that great parking job. They really like the cover. Smallmouth like to hang out in the rocky areas. Alright, let's give that crankbait that I have here a try. Maybe they'll go for that here. Who knows? I like to give the crankbaits a try anytime I can. Wish I had a blue one. The blue ones seem to be real popular when it's cloudy. There we go. Ooh. This is a decent fish. Come on. There we go. Not bad. He's a fat bugger. Old chubby, old chubby fish. Anyway, that is the great parking job. And anywhere in this area, that is the key location. Don't go over here. That will get smallmouth, unless you're after a smallmouth. Now, I've occasionally gotten them over here, but most of the time if I'm catching anything over here, it's going to be catfish. So, we are going to head back to the map. And we're going to go to Into the Rocky Blue. Now, it's a little, it was a little tougher for me to find them here the first time because there's a lot of smallmouth in this location. But I'll tell you, they seem to hang out right around that log. That's where I find them most often. And I'm going to try the crankbait to start with, but I think I'm going to end up going back to that gold spoon. But 
that's where I see him most often. Now you might get some young largemouth over to the right side of me. See, I don't know if they're going to go for that or not. Okay, I'm going to try one more time. I don't know if that's a log or rock. I think it's a rock. But yeah, if I can get it tossed right under that log and not just hit the ground or get a snag. That would be ideal. There we go. There you go. That's where they are. Okay, let me switch back over to the gold spoon here. I'm going to use the half ounce here. But yeah, you got to get real close to that log, and it's, you know, you risk getting a snag. But, yeah, see, I got a snag. And it looks like I got something <laughs> like bark or something, too. Darn it. I got a branch. We'll discard the branch. Got a branch fish. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, we didn't get the snag this time. And there we go. Like I said, it's just a matter of getting right up in there. That was a nice one, too. But yeah, there's a lot of times there's some right around in here. There's some thing is there's a lot of lily pads and snags there, but you will get some young ones here occasionally, but the problem with that is, is you also got a lot of smallmouth. So it's kind of tricky to get them. You can get them on light tackle. I don't know if I'm going to get one off of this half ounce or not, but I thought I might give it a little try here. The young ones will attack one that size. They'll attack anything. They're kind of... They're hungry, damn it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to get much of anything there. Alright, one thing I wanted to try before I quit here. I wanted to give this one, a, this bass jig, a try here. It's yellow. It might stand out well enough to where they'll go for it. I really don't know. Like I said, I am not as fond of the bass jigs as some of the other lures but sometimes they work very well but like I said it's got to be up in that log seems like if I do get them it's usually on sunny or partly sunny days these cloudy days it's a little trickier Usually when I'm fishing for bass, most of the time on a cloudy day, I float fish for them. Ooh, that was a good cast. Now if I can't get one for that cast, then they're just not going to go for this. Well, that was weird. It jumped all the way over there. What the hell? I started there and I went... It popped over there. It's like a glitch. Yeah. I'll tell you guys, honestly. Just don't have as much luck with those. Anyway, guys. That is the largemouth bass of Naharan River. And I might do one on float fishing here in a little bit. 
But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of The Fisherman Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, I will see you later. Bye-bye.